three of my series on how the pyramids tapped into the Earth's electromagnetic energy. This is from Pollock Laboratory. Gerald Pollock, uh, Dr. Pollock is a PhD at the University of Washington in Seattle, and in my opinion is the one, one of the most brilliant researchers on the planet, although he seems very humble too. And he's discovered easy water. Easy water has three phases, gas, liquid, and solid, but findings from our laboratory imply the presence of a surprisingly extensive fourth phase that occurs at interfaces. The formal name for this fourth phase is exclusion zone water, also known as easy water. This finding may have profound implication for chemistry, physics, and biology. <clears throat> and then we have here uh, as part of the article on energy from water and light. So he says, we found that the solute exclusion zone here is charged, while well, the zone beyond here is oppositely charged. This separation constitutes a battery from which current can be drawn. The battery is recharged by incident radiant energy. Hence, the process resembles a first step in photosynthesis. It is effectively a photoelectric effect, except that the medium is ordered water. Experiments are underway to explore the phenomenon of charge separation in water. This, <clears throat> the scientific underpinning of this separation is extremely interesting uh, the prospects of obtaining clean electrical energy from water. And so this is also what Tesla says and what Stubbefield and others said, that the earth is full of electrical energy. Now Tesla thought it was from the sun. And I believe that it probably is from the sun, but it's probably because the sun charges water and creates easy water, massive amounts of it all over the planet. And it's this water that the ancients were drawing on when they had pyramids on each side of the Nile and they connected them and created uh, what's basically a voltaic pile, an earth battery. So this one might be the pyramid, represent the pyramids on the west bank of the Nile and this might represent the pyramids on the east bank and then you have the salt water uh, between them, and of course the upper Nile, I mean the uh, the Nile where it meets the Mediterranean, of course, is salty. So that would uh, is part of my explanation, and we will now continue on to the next part.